So, ngayong umaga lang, lumabas na yung notification or yung banner sa aking uh, YT Studio app to accept yung updated YPP terms. And syempre, hindi na tayo nagpatumpik-tumpik pa at inaccept na kagad natin yan para hindi na natin makalimutan in the future. Again, meron yung deadline na until July 10 if you are already a monetized channel para i-accept yung uh, updated YPP terms para hindi ka matanggal sa YouTube Partnership Program. And if, of course, nag-screen record ako so I can walk you through then on how to accept it on your end. Alright? So bago ko ipakita sa inyo yung proseso ng pag-accept ko ng updated YPP terms sa mga bago sa channel natin kung hindi pa ako kalala ko po si Manong Bluetooth. Isa po akong social media marketing specialist na tuturo sa mga pinay content creator on how to grow on social media, how to improve your content, how to be a better content creator and kung paano kumita sa social media. So kung trip niyo yung ganyang content, don't forget to subscribe, hit yung notification bell para updated kayo pag meron ako mga live question and answer. And also, pakishare ng ating video, alright? So, eto na. So, pag open mo ng YouTube app mo at nakita mo yung banner sa bandang taas na kalagay dyan, Action Required. Accept new terms to stay in the YouTube Partner Program and start earning shorts ads revenue. So, kinilig ko na kagad yung review and accept. Pag kaklik mo ng review and accept, papasok na or lalabas yung review updated terms. So, nahati sa dalawang step yan. Step 1 is to accept yung base terms. So again, kagaya ng nasabi ko nung nakaraang live ko, hinati-hati ni YouTube yung kaniyang um, terms of service. Yung base terms are the terms and conditions or terms of service sa pagiging part ng YPP. And then nakahiwala yung terms of service for each monetization feature. Kagaya ng shorts, ng watch page terms, yun yung ads at saka yung premium, yung supers, yung membership, and etc. So una muna, Kinilig ko na kagad yung review ng base terms. And then, tumambad sa atin yung napakahabang terms of service ng YPP sa base terms niya. Ayan. Pinag-isipan ko muna kung babasahin ko ba to bago ko i-accept. Pero naisip ko, nabasa ko na ito dati. So, ang ginawa ko na lang, nag-take-take ako ng screenshots just to make sure na ma-review ko siya in the future. If may question kayo, masagot ko. And if in any case, di ba, meron ako palaging babalikan. So, screenshot, screenshot tayo dyan. And then after the screenshot, click natin yung box na accept terms, and then hit accept. After kung maaccept yung base terms, yam para dumtay sa step two, watch page terms. Kaya liko na yung review. Kagaya ng grumawo kanina, hindi ko nito binasa since alam naman natin to. Screenshot, screenshot na lang para malaman ko kung mayro mga changes para malivio ko, may explain ko sa inyo if inenik is mayroon. Or kung meron mga confusion, pwede kong balikan mamaya. I-check yung, or i-check yung I accept the watch page terms. And then, hit accept. And then yan, nagkamali pa ako. Na-click ko yung decline. So, pagka-click ko yung decline, bumalik sa previous page. Nakalagay na hindi ko siya na-accept. Yan, kinilig ko lang yung change. Then, saka ko ulit in-accept. Alright. Now, natapos na ako sa step 1 and step 2. Kali ko na yung submit. And saka lumabas yung terms of service ng shorts or ads on shorts. Nakalagay dito, start earning from shorts feed ads. You can now turn on your shorts feed month season to earn from ads and YouTube premium starting Feb 1, 2023. So again, this is with regards dun sa updated monetization feature kung saan pwede tayong kumita from the shorts shelves. So magkakaroon na ng ads sa shorts shelves. And also, um, kapag naka-premium sila at nanonood sila sa short shelves, yun, magkakaroon tayo ng kita doon. Alright? Naipaliwanan ko na sa previous live natin kung yung paraan, paraan ng pagkita. Uh, but I might explain it to you ulit sa mga susunod ng mga araw. So, kilik ko na yung turn on. Alright? Then, click turn on ulit. And then, screenshot, screenshot ulit tayo. And I accept the shorts feed terms. Itik natin yon, recheck, then hit accept. All right. So again, importante na maaccept mo siya before February one. So pag na activate na or naging effective na yung ads on shorts, you will start earning by Feb one. Now pa ano kung hindi mo siya kagad maaccept bago mag Feb one? Magsa start ka lang magearn from the shorts feed by the time na maaccept mo nasa. All right. 
That's why it's uh, important that you accept it uh, before Feb 1 so you can start earning from it immediately. Alright? So, ito na yung itsura after ko ma-accept yung mga terms. Um, nakalagay sa aking monetization tab doon sa YouTube Studio app na nandyan na, naka-active yung watch page ads, short page ads, yung membership, tsaka yung super. So, kung, kung nakikita nyo, hindi na ako pinag, uh, pinag-accept ng term of service sa memberships at sa supers. Kasi kung tatandaan nyo, nung inactivate natin yung ating membership, merong terms of service tayong inaccept bago natin na-activate yon Ganon din yung supers. So if there's no changes on it, there's no need to make any amendments. Na-accept na natin siya dati. Alright? Alright, so kung nakikita yung shopping ko, hindi pa naka-activate, kaya may learn more. And I don't have any plans of activating it kasi meron akong sariling uh, paraan kung paano mag ng, uh, magbenta ng merchandise. Now, if you will go sa desktop up, desktop uh, desktop mode ng inyong or sa PC ninyo sa, sa laptop. And if you wanted to see yung inyong Creator Studio, wala na yung monetization tab, dapat na siya ng earn. Yung dollar sign naging earn na. And similar dun sa cellphone, uh, sa YouTube Studio app sa cellphone, ganun din yung itsura. So, nakalagay na dito, hiwalay hiwalay na yung ways to earn, yung monetization features, yung watch page ads. Ito yung YouTube Premium, tsaka yung ads sa mga long-form content. Ito sa Shorts, Membership, Supers, Shopping, Giving. So, again, ito yung pinaka-updated. All you have to do is to accept the updated terms of service. Kung monetize channel ka na, need mo siyang ma-accept until July 10 because if not, temporarily ka muna tatanggalin sa YPP until ma-accept mo yung new uh, and updated terms of service. And according to YouTube, you can opt out sa iba monetization feature but you have to contact them. Alright? So, yun lang for this video. Uh, I-share natin yung video na to para hindi ba confuse yung iba kung paano mag-accept ng updated terms ni YPP. Alright? Again, kung creator ka, stay safe, stay creative. Goodbye!